In this example, you will learn how to map a thermal solution on a structural model. The thermal results at 500 seconds are displayed. We will map these temperatures to the structural model. Notice that the thermal model is meshed with tetrahedral elements. Now open the structural model. The structural model has a different mesh than the thermal model. Create the mapping solution. Select NX thermal and flow as the solver. Select mapping as the analysis type. Point the thermal results to the mapping solution by selecting the BUN file. Enter 500 seconds to map the thermal results at that time. Select the optional output tab. And select the create Nastron solution checkbox. This option automatically creates a Nastron 101 solution that is preloaded with the temperature distribution. Solve the mapping solution. After the mapping is complete, notice that the structural solution was created. The beam in the structural solution is preloaded with the thermal results in the subcase 1 solution step. Next display the map temperature results. In the post processing navigator, expand the mapping solution node. Double click the nodal temperature result node. The thermal results are mapped onto the structural model. Notice that the temperatures were mapped from a tetrahedral mesh to a hexahedral mesh. Now, return to the simulation to view the structural solution. Open the simulation navigator. You can apply constraints and loads to the structural model based on the application. In this example, a fixed constraint was already set up in the constraint container. Drag the constraint into the solution. And select the constraint checkbox to activate it. Notice that the fixed constraint is applied to one end of the beam. Now solve the structural model. After the analysis is complete, display the nodal displacement results. The beam is displaced by 0.8 millimeters at the edge. Thank you.